Hello and welcome to this new sort of tutorial or guideline on how to share your QGIS projects. So in QGIS you have a project file which is more, more or less either a QGIS file, which is the file deprivation, or a QGZ file, which is the zipped form of the same QGIS file. The QGIS file itself contains more or less just the location and information about the data, but not the data itself. That means if we have an awesome project like this little one uh, with three different layers, the QGIS file knows where the data sits and it references the data as well as the settings of the data like visualization, uh, symbology, filters, joints and whatsoever. Also the base map information is enlisted inside the QGIS file. Now, when it comes to shipping data, you would like to make sure that, well, first of all, all the settings are shipped to your partner, to your colleague, to your uh, client, whatever. And uh, not only the data, but also the settings of the file. So um, you would like to have the whole package. Now, there are different ways of how to deal, of how to deal with that. And it all comes down to the art or the, the way of how you work with your data so in if you do have a proper proper setup the um you will have some sort of well some sort of data catalog like this one right uh where you have your data in there and then you have the qgs project on top of it or maybe in the same folder it does not really matter so if you do have such a structure then sharing data is quite easy because well mm, only you just say well let's use a folder ship compress it you will get a nice zip file out of it and then ship it away so um, i've done this here already and i've stored this here on my desktop so this is a ship uh, file itself this is the folder and if i will open up this uh, save it .qgz file it will use the data that is inside the data folder and not inside the data folder in my download structure. So this is the most convenient way of, of dealing and sharing your data. Of course, you can think about using using maybe our REST services that where, where the data sits on a server somewhere outside of your organization or inside your organiza organization. So you don't have to ship the data itself with that, but just the layer configuration. But as mentioned, sometimes it needs to be easy now if you do have quite a bit of a bigger project and you're in some sort of well in in between state of state of the project there might be an occasion okay well i do have a lot of data maybe in the download folder or you might not have taken into account that you have different sources or some data comes from already from a shared folder or a network storage or on the onedrive folder or whatsoever so the data is quite gathered around your organization or maybe even on your hard drive. So there are different ways on how to deal. So of course you can either go through and check, well, where is the data? Say, oh, okay, it's in the download folder ship. And you, you then copy the data to your desired location and then you know exactly where the data sits. But there are also plugins that might help you out here. So let's have a look on the plugins um, that are around. Um, well. Currently, well, there is um, there's a plugin called Q Package, and there is a plugin called Q Consolidate. Q Package itself, well, it's an easy plugin. Let's have a look on here. Um, it just summarizes the layer that you have and what it will do. It will take the layers, copy it to a folder, to this destination folder, and it will pre, you know, it will re structure the data a bit so let's try this out first of all i will create a new folder and i will call call this q package 3 package 3 there we are uh, so let's create this folder and i will save this and we it will also create a copy of your current project so we will call this saber 3 and it will make sure or it can make sure that you are using the same uh, CRS, so calling it reference system, for all your data. So we will go with the zone number 39. So I will now 
Let's copy the layer. And you need to make. Um, you need to understand that in my project here, I do have a GeoJSON file, I have a shape file, and I have a Q package file. Yeah, a Q package file. Uh, no, a Geo Geo package file. Sorry for that. So, what is it doing? So let's have a look and find out. Um, but as you can see, OSM standard is not selected as an exportable layer because it is a web service. Therefore, I don't need to copy that. Um, now, I also received some strange errors here with queue package. I was not getting into it. So, because I'm, yeah, more or less not interested. And, uh, let's have a look into the downloads folder. So we have the queue package three folder here. There is a queue saver QZ or QZZ file. Well, I saw, I thought I have named it saver three. And, um, you can also see that all the data that was in my data folder here in the ship folder, as mentioned, there was a geo, uh, GeoJSON as well as a joint layer Q, uh, geo package file was converted to a shape file. That comes with a disadvantage because Q package as well as GeoJSON support well field names that are longer, um, and you will you might lose also some information in your QGIS project because if you do have a categorized view maybe on the layer. So red circles and green circles according to a binary uh, field or you know, a binary column information inside your QGIS project. If you then change the um, name of the field and the column itself, because it needs to be limited to 10 characters, that is quite a big disadvantage. Also, the understanding of names of fields might get lost because if you have like you have joined a lot of data where you have the first part of the name and um, somehow indicating the source of the column well if it's quite long then you don't even might recognize the content of the column afterwards because you are really dependent on the names of the of this of, of the column itself so that's the disadvantage of of uh, q package 3 um but as mentioned you can simply say well zip this one and uh, ship it to a client again of course and uh, let's have a look here on at another plugin so we will go to plugin and say let's work with q consolidate what is q consolidate well it takes all the layers from current qgs project in one day directory optionally zipping the whole project in a single file and then you can ship it so once again quite easy right um so no big fancy stuff it takes more or less the same the same basic approach it says well of course yes your 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 sources are quite scattered we will consolidate this into a certain folder and then you can go on from there so we will create a new pro uh, folder called q consolidate maybe or oh, let's take this q console is there something in there or well, there is so let's create a new one new folder qc and we will open this up and we will say either shapefile or geo package. Well, I do like shapefiles due to the fact that it is quite useful in also other GIS systems. If you go with a geo package, make sure, well, that your client is not trying to open this up with uh, ESRI. So we will go with shapefile. Once again, keep in mind your data will be changed. And we'll try out to um, make this a zip file. Well, uh, let's skip it for the moment. So say, okay, well, there was an error here. So what was going on? Well, consolidation started. I don't really know what's going on currently. So let's have a look into the folder. So it was uh, shared here in the download section. QC Saver 23. We have a QGIS or QGIS package, but the layers itself is empty. So this is not a really good um, solution, at least for this QGIS version. Maybe also it comes down because it does not like my geo package layer here, which I think it's a point. No, it's a J or JSON. But maybe uh, this joint layer is not suited for the uh, export itself. But also, if you do have some intermediary results that are in memory layers make sure in memory layers are not stored 
inside the zip file or as a data so they are just if you close the project if you close the lid of, of, your, of your screen the data will be gone so if you ship data to your client to your project partner always make sure to copy paste the data into a certain folder either make it stationary data or also your client and your, the person who receives the zip file will not be able to work with that thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye